Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 78, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been on Nar Shada for some time now, about 30-ish about 30 episodes, went with a couple of intermissions while we dealt with our crew, uh, which we'll probably have to do after after... We, we finish up with Nar Shaddaa because it, it, it'll have been long enough and we'll have made enough progress that uh, we, we might be able to get the handmaiden over to the Jedi side because that's why she's been stuck at level 6. I really want to make the you know, Soldier 6. I really want to make the best use of her Jedi levels. Um, so I thought I was going to need her for this mission, but apparently not. So while I'm dealing with Voga the Hutt... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll keep her along anyway. What, what are the odds I'm going to get into more trouble than I already have? Oh. Did I say that out loud? I said that out loud. Alright, I'm probably going to regret that now, aren't I? Ooh. Airspeeder. Oh. Oh, come on. I thought I fixed that. No? I thought I fixed that. Fine. All right. Did you hear? The Republic's destroyed Goto's yacht. Blew it up right in orbit. Oh. Um. Unnecessary observation. Oh, come now on, guys. Annoying recitation. Let Have we not been through this? To facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I'm about to bring out the termination of hostilities. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get an energy shield. And then we'll flurry. Come on. Finish him, ladies. Get him. Ooh. Uh, for all her levels, Visa sure doesn't seem to be getting, uh, she's losing hit points fast. Like, man, that's, that's quick. Like, I need to bring a different crew with me. I'm gonna heal you up, but uh, I'm about to trade you in for some people who are competent. Or is that part of the problem? I mean, she she she's she's a level seventeen Jedi Sentinel, and she's getting it handed to her. All right, uh, she's another one that I don't want to keep level up anymore until. All right, I fine. Let's get Kriya on there. No, she's gonna. You know what? Let's just keep the party. We're surviving. We're surviving. <sighs> Not happy about it, but surviving. All right. Do you have? You wouldn't happen to have any lightsaber parts, Bird? Um. Let's see. All right, what do you have? Uh, combat suit. Nope. Military suit. Nope. Battle armor, light battle armor. No, none of those. Okay. I've already got a yellow crystal. Um... Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. All right, field survival pistol. Yeah, yeah, nope. Sonic nullifiers. Yeah. No. Neural band. Nope. Insulated gloves. Nope. 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 All right. Strength plus two. Fortitude. Although I wonder if that's one I can craft. 
I've got one in inventory. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, nope. I, I got, you got nothing for me. Uh, fine. All right. It's probably not going to register that Goto is uh, gone until I get back to my ship. Even though people are going, hey, did you hear? Ding dong. Goto's dead. Haven't heard anything more yet. I'll come seek you out if I do. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. All right. No, that's it. You can't tell me anything. I should probably change some of their uh, forms, too. I, that that might have to be an exercise for the next chance I get. A, uh, I have to get everybody in one place and, like, stand around, level people up and all that. Uh, not just go through their armaments, but go through their stances and defaults and see if I can change that and have it stay. Yeah, this is what I was waiting for to happen. I... As the two droids sniff each other? Is that how that works? Are they like my pets or something? Oh, this can't be good. Why are you here? Because I told him. Told him everything. Ah, and now you are free. Yeah, so no more threats. No more of your requests. You and me, we're done. Did you ever think I truly held you? You're more of a fool than I thought. What truly held you? was you, and let me show you why. I once held the galaxy by the throat, as you once held her by the throat, and let her Yikes. die slowly. And your emotion at that point is what you fear. I wielded power like you cannot imagine. That's Everything past I saw was awash with possibilities, spreading outwards, touching everything else i saw all of that all that the force is and only when it was ripped from me mm. did i truly see it and i know what lies buried within you that you hide with your desperate thoughts your guilt your lusts oh. i can unlock that part of you anytime i wish it is a simple thing the human mind once it feels something strongly it becomes are, are you threatening to to, to play mind games Shall with my minions? Shall I show you that part of you that hungered to kill Jedi, that took pleasure from it? Or perhaps you will continue to listen to my counsel, and I shall ignore your pathetic attempts at freedom. Hmm. Now leave me, murderer. I have nothing further to say to one such as you. Well then, I, I see we're continuing the trend of crew not playing nicely with each other. All right, I should probably talk to her at some point. I should probably do some work on the bench. I should probably talk to Baudur. Although, I think I'm at the point where all I can do with him is um, convert him to a Jedi as well. Where's the new guy? I do need to talk to her at some point. Um... Is he in the main room? Alright, I'll have to talk to her at some point, too. Oh, hey, we can, uh... Oh, that's right. I got Mira now, too. And I think we can bring him back online. Looks like the remains of an HK unit. Older. Or more civilized. I know. Uh, <laughs> but more corroded than the ones you encountered on Paragus. Its power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. And, last but not least, you have installed the droid's processor. Hello, old friend. There's a low hum from within the droid. And the sound of circuits... Oh, achievement unlocked unadulterated violence. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. Checks through primary systems. 
Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. <laughs> I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. We can fix that. My central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. <laughs> um... Why were you in our storage hold? Any idea what happened to you? You look like a series... You, you look a lot like a series of droids that have attacked me. Are you okay? All right, let's start off with the, the, the good question. Are you okay? Answer, if by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not nah, okay. Nah, that feels okay to me. I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled <laughs> sophistication. <laughs> Uh, you're an assassin. You're an assassin droid. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary oh. function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy, <laughs> Master. Oh, how I hate that term. <sighs> Are you ready to serve me, droid? I'm not sure I like the idea of having an assassin droid on board. We'll get used to it. What meat bag? Uh, I'm not sure I like the idea of having it. Answer. Well, I am not certain I like the idea of a master who feels reservations at having an assassination oh. droid. Oh, this is how it's going to go. Okay. In fact, it brings with it a certain sense of dread that you may actually not use me to my full Oh, no, 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 no. I will use you to your full capabilities. I was just saying not a few not but a few minutes ago that I needed a party member that I could rely on to do some damage. Um All right. Yeah, let's do all light sided and stuff. Answer. Yes, master. HK47 is ready to serve. All right. His few remaining assassination protocols allow him to do more damage to opponents with blasters and rifles. Ooh, we got some XP's too. All right, let's uh. Statement, Master. I must express some degree of concern. As I have studied your actions, looking for potential vulnerabilities <laughs> to exploit, I have found several. Uh, okay. Vulnerabilities. Statement. You seem disposed to helping others, not harming them, as well, I yes. come to expect and anticipate from organic meat bags across the galaxy. Hmm. Uh, mercy and charity are not weaknesses. Why are you studying me? <laughs> if you decide to attack me, I will crush you into a scrap without a second thought. Um, now let's go. They're not weaknesses. Statement. Oh, master, please. Of course they are. Anytime you inconvenience or jeopardize yourself for another, it is a vulnerability. In any event, I feel compelled to point out that your self-destructive path of pacifism and sacrifice will only lead to your doom. That may be a hmm. trifle melodramatic. A trifle? But frankly, it is something More than a trifle. that I should hear. And I have been rehearsing the speech for some time. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. I got some questions for you. Statement. You wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well. Proceed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. Okay. Not an interrogation. I just want to ask you some questions. Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your worst. Okay. Enough with the interrogation already. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. This sounds like a rest question. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Yeah, I bet. Why were you in our storage hold? Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here. Ah, uh, so this is going to be our big quest with this guy, is finding out that he came with the hawk. Uh-oh. That's right, both of these guys came. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. 
All right, I got some other questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello, this guy. Uh, you look a lot like a series of drawings that have attacked me. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, <laughs> we would not be speaking. And regardless, okay. I am a unique model. Why to think that there would be other versions of me? Oh, there. Uh, dude, you have other people's parts in you. You're no longer OEM. <laughs> well, there's at least four other now defunct versions of you in the galaxy. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. Oh, as they're not wasted. I am unique. Uh, yes. Yes, you are unique. Unique's the word we'll use. Um... Actually, there's a series of HK-50 units sharing your model and function. Yeah, let's press them on that. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Oh, I assure you. Conclusion. You speak the truth. I do. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Are you all right? Mockery. <laughs> am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. I Statement. love this guy. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. <laughs> but if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper... Yes, and that, protocols. that is what I would Inclusion. love to do with you. So it seems I need you. For the time being. Alright, I wanted to talk about the other HK units. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. Them. What did you wish to know? Uh... Do you... Oh, um... Alright, uh... Why are they masquerading as protocol droids? programming I am able to communicate in over 600 languages okay this usually amounted to short verbal warnings when killing non-basic speaking <laughs> targets okay. which gave me some small measure of satisfaction all right oh so a good portion of your programming was adapted from protocol routines Answer. yes I believe my original master needed this functionality in order to recover information from various indigenous tribes across the galaxy. But I know little else than that. Suffice to mm -hmm. say that that translation capability allowed these copies of myself to assume the role of protocol and translation droids in much of known space. That is, of course, not... Well, I know that's not their primary function. And while they are attempting to pass themselves off as translation droids... Their primary functionality keeps rising to the forefront. Um. What do you mean? Recitation. For example, on Praven Prime, the simple transferring of Elzing syntax for friendship changes its meaning and implies that one's broodmate was actually impregnated by their own host. Oh. That wasn't said to them directly, was it? Confirmation. Oh, truly. You can imagine the results. Yeah. Statement. This comment, of course, caused a civil war between the Guvandi Collective and Elzing that still persists to the current day. Wow. Uh. Do any of these have wider repercussions? Answer. Yes, Master. Such incidents often spread outwards from their point of origin, much okay, like an then. echo. Um. So what sort of repercussions? Answer. In the case of Praven Prime, the Civil War actually forced the Republic to back out of Guvandi's space and oh. let their world fall okay. from Republic control. As I understand it, that would be best. Keeping such a world would have been a token gesture of control. Hmm. As an added burden, the resources needed to invest in diplomatic and trade relations would have far outweighed what would have been required. Oh. Is, is this going to be because the 
Are we going to find out that Godo's... Killing. Sounds like a D&D campaign. I joke, old chaps. I feel like we need to go on a good brisk killing. Okay. And that's a good thing. Some more about these clones of yours. Statement. What of them? Um. Do you know why they are hunting me? Answer. Well, Master, it seems you have become a popular individual in the I've galaxy. I've always wanted to be popular. This is somewhat surprising to me, since this dissemination of information could not have been caused by oh. your actions alone. What do you mean? Statement. Master, there is mention of you specifically in the core word databases, even in public terminals on Coruscant. Observation. Hmm. I was led to believe that this information concerning Jedi was not for public consumption. It's not. Yet somehow it has been made known to them. And why would someone Conclusion. do that? Someone wants everyone to know that you exist, Master, and that you are back in Republic space. I, I think I if gathered I that. Know better, which is computationally impossible, I believe that someone wants to make you a target, and they are succeeding admirably. Oh, who? Answer. Master, my feeling would be the exchange. But that doesn't seem to be enough to answer the question, however. Hmm. Rhetorical. Why wouldn't they have simply kept the information to themselves? Such an answer does not address the central question. And that is... Why someone would choose to broadcast your location all over the known galaxy? Theory. My suspicion is that someone is using you as bait for a larger target, who is unknown oh. at this time. So am I to be the bait? All right. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? What other information can we get? Um... We, we got, why are they hunting me? Why do you need me? Do you know where these clones are being created? That's Answer. actually a good question. Master, I do oh. not know. I have tried in vain to find it, but so far the location of the factory For the whole six minutes that you've been alive, or reactivated? Me. But how did that happen? Statement. I have no idea, Master. Hmm. Statement. Oh, no, Master, oh. surely you are mistaken. I would never malfunction in such a way on purpose. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't know where they're striking from? Prompt. Do you understand me? I have no idea. Okay. It certainly isn't a matter of it being locked in my memory core and being unable to communicate it to others. Uh, yeah, okay. It certainly isn't a matter of that. So if it wasn't a matter of that, how would we resolve that? information that exists would only come out when a certain sequence of events takes place. Like a plot that point. That is why I am eager to encounter more of these clones in the hopes that something clicks that allows me to finally pull the trigger. <laughs> Choice of phrase, huh? Alright. Statement. What of them? Alright, so that's the creator. So why do you need me? Statement. Master, there are two reasons for this. One. The probability of them showing up around you is statistically high. If I travel okay. with you, then my chances of encountering these clones is also high. The second reason is a little more complicated. You see, even though those clones are obviously cheap, artless imitations of me, well, they are still me. Okay, so what are you talking about? Answer. Somehow these droids are built from my schematics. This causes certain complications. I bet it does. And this doesn't explain why you need me. Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior...
behavior core recognizes these templates as still being me, despite their individuality. Oh. I could no more shoot them than I could shoot myself. It is a frustrating situation that oh, I've been so I can't use you my behavior them? core for some time. All right. Statement. I think we got some other uh, questions for him. Yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? All right, so we got created. Why do you need me? Do you know why they are hunting me? The protocol droids. Uh, so let's go with, uh, why did they start revealing themselves yes. now? I do not know why these clones chose now to start revealing themselves. Hmm. They are a, I can only assume that some critical moment is approaching where stealth and subtlety mm -hmm. is no longer required. Not that those Durasteel-plated knockoffs know <laughs> anything of stealth or subtlety. Observation. It is clear, however, that they have been placed throughout the galaxy at critical junctures, both in the Republic fleet and in neutral worlds. And they seem I to be that. looking for Jedi. I noticed that too. All right, I think I had one other question about the Statement clones, and then we could try to. Of them. All right. Um, you sound pretty disgusted. Answer. My feelings on the matter are something that I feel I must put in proper context. In a way that even a meat bag such uh, as yourself chill with the meat bag stuff. Theory. Imagine, if you will, that you are unique, the pinnacle of an exile, oh, cast out Jedi who can't even use the Force. Imagine that no one has sunk lower than you, that you are truly the most miserable example of a hey, Jedi um, ever. <laughs> Is this going somewhere? I get it already. Uh, let's go with I get it already. Continuation. Now that you have that image, imagine this. Someone clones you. Badly, I might add. They make the clones talk differently, rob you of any shred of personality, and take your Jedi code and adjust it so that it is not really the Jedi code anymore. They even change your pigmentation to a rather poor shade of Durasteel. <laughs> rather than the proper rusty red that inspires fear in targets. And of course, they refer to meat bags as organics. Unacceptable. Okay. Uh, they really didn't seem that different from you, actually. Indignation. Have you gone deaf? Surely you've <laughs> heard them speak, and instantly you can tell the difference between them and I. From the voice... But you all sound exactly the same. Uh, do I want to keep antagonizing him? No, let's go. That explains your answer. Anger would be an understatement for the heat that builds up in my behavior core when these cheap imitations make their presence felt throughout the galaxy. Statement. Part of the indignity of all these copies is that they impair my ability to perform my function. How is that? People throughout the galaxy recognize I just need, me. I just need to point you in a direction. <laughs> device, the more difficulty I will have in carrying out my mission. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's it for the clone questions. I had some other questions. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Uh. For a sophisticated assassin droid, you don't seem to be as advanced as you should be. Uh, how did you get scattered all over the galaxy? Theory. Well, Master, I believe I was shot repeatedly. <laughs> Once reduced to my component parts, I suspect pieces of me were sold across the galaxy. Statement. Okay. I am an extremely valuable piece of equipment, after all, Master. Extremely valuable. My parts were no doubt costly to obtain. And their new owners hesitant to part with them. Um. It didn't cost me anything to recover your parts. They might have been donated from some of your clones. Statement. That is indeed unfortunate, Master. It is merely another thing my attacker will answer for. Hmm. I would be most distressed if you were to shoot me, attack me, or dismember me in any way. I do not wish to repeat the experience. I'll bet. I had some other questions. Statement. Ah, oh, hush. More questions. Wonderful. All right. Uh, we got all the questions about the HK units. Who was your previous master? Answer. Master, oh. ironically enough, I 
I seem to have developed mm -hmm. a sudden bout of memory loss. I shall struggle to recall an answer to your question, but for now, it is sadly beyond my capabilities. Uh -huh. Consolation. Besides, you are a fine master. Do not be worried about being rendered insignificant if I were to inadvertently compare to some silly old master I once possessed. All right, I know the questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Uh, do you know anything about the Sith hunting no us? No, no of course not. I do not. I am afraid I have been out of touch with the Sith for many years. This new hmm. Sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Uh, any idea where they might be striking from? Answer. No, no of course master. not. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War. Oh, that's and fair. I doubt the Republic found them all. That's also Theory, fair. It is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation. Hmm. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. That's not consolation. That, that, that doesn't seem to be helpful. Yeah, exactly. Query, Master, excuse me, but how is it you know so many languages? I was wondering the very same thing. Oh, yeah. I picked up that sonic imprint sensor. Query, may I see it? Of course. Here you Observation. go. Observation. This is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled That's after because my it is modeled after your vocabulator. Modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Yeah, shortly before it was destroyed. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple oh. functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Well, okay then. Can you use it to track them? Confirmation. Yes, Master, I believe so. Of course, we would need to find three separate HK squads and use this device in order to target their base. Okay, then. Do we just wait? Answer. Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. Okay. It does not please me any more than it does you. But what are the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid? Is patience. Yeah, about that. All right. Statement. I ah, think I've got one or questions. two more questions, and then I can wrap up with you. Wonderful. The... Uh, scattered. The others. Uh, Sith. You know, for a sophisticated assassin droid, you don't seem to be advanced as you should be. Statement. Master, you wound me. Not physically. But in my behavior core, I think that was the intent that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades, but time and damage has taken its toll. Yeah. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also a compromised. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, see, see Still, the episodes for uh, uh, the first nights of the old republic. Willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. Yep, that's what I'd like you for. All right, nothing else. I got some light for it. Light side points gained. I lost some influence with HK, unfortunately. Uh, but XP's nice. I should probably talk to Mira at some point, but I'll deal with that later. Okay. See, what happened was, I thought there would just be a really short conversation with Goto, and then a really short trip to see Voga the Hut. What actually happened was a little bit different. Uh, that went on for some time. And the episode ended up being so long, I'm going to split it into two parts. I hate to leave you hanging. No, I don't. I don't really hate it. I, I kind of like it, actually. So, part one, you have now seen. Part two will be out tomorrow. It helps if you know where all the buttons are. All right, uh, so, yep, 
Uh, see you tomorrow for part two of episode 78. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.